Okay, so the Super Bowl, the big game is coming and gone, and we got a lot of news that I want to cover here in this video, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is just a little bit about Verizon and, and kind of what happened with the Super Bowl and the days leading up to it and what they've been up to. So we all know Verizon has you know big-time deals with the NFL. They've got contracts, game deals, advertisements, etc. Uh, they happen to do some testing during the big game and terms of like virtual reality headsets testing during the game high resolution replays on secondary screens and uh they were able to show that you know with the use of a lot of their new technologies they had really really low latency extremely high data speeds some are even reporting speeds over 500 megabits per second i'm not sure what devices they were using or what devices actually could be used for that testing but apparently that was going on they were doing some on-field demos with real nfl players wearing you know, specialized goggles and helmet-mounted cameras where they're doing, like, passing, catching, like, real game speed uh, gameplay. So uh, I guess that was going on. And um, I guess some other things in terms of the network performance during the game, uh, Verizon customers used almost 19 terabytes of data on the actual day of the Super Bowl. 50% uh, of the users at the Super Bowl were Verizon customers, so that's a huge network load. Uh, last year, I think they were at 45%, so that's a 12% increase. And um, last year, they had 11 terabytes of data used, and then two years ago, 7 terabytes. So it shows you how much more network strain uh, a lot of the networks currently have. Uh, the data spikes for this year were during kickoff, uh, during the fourth quarter when Tom Brady fumbled, and then the biggest spike came during the halftime show. So Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat pulling tons of bandwidth, really taxing the network, in terms of spending, you know, Verizon dumped $612 million into uh, improving the network for this event. And, of course, those network improvements will stay. It's not like they're going anywhere. Uh, also, they staffed 150 people on the tech side uh, to support, you know, any type of setbacks or issues uh, during the game uh, or the day, for that matter. Um, in terms of the commercials, uh, Verizon kind of tapped in with the first responders, you know, answering the call advertisement where they basically showed like distressed citizens needing rescue, uh, trying to kind of use the emotional, compassionate type tone to it, uh, the flood victims, the hurricane victims calling for help, and uh, you know them kind of being the first responders. And then from like the T-Mobile side, we saw their commercial, which really was kind of like a social equality theme. You know, change starts now, showing all the babies of different races. Uh, really, they were just super cute babies, very very cute and adorable. Um, you know, T-Mobile is a very progressive company, you know, and they're into like being leaders within the uh, within the market, being difference makers. You know, they have this young, energetic uh, feel to them as a carrier. And I think industry wide, um, you know, people respect that, you know, no matter what they think of the business side. So it was kind of cool to see that. And then also, um, just as a side note, uh, there seems to be some kind of a SIM card hijacking scheme going on with T-Mobile. You may want to kind of figure this thing out. Um, give it a search. It's like a phone number port out scam where people are uh, scamming, uh, basically calling T-Mobile or going into carrier stores and impersonating victims, requesting a new SIM card and stealing people's like phone identities. Uh, so you may want to check into that. Make sure your accounts are secure and see what the deal is with that. In terms of the Sprint commercial, uh, artificial intelligence was kind of like their their uh, claim to fame on that so they had this robot named evelyn and she's asking like you know the guy of the commercial the human you know why are you still with verizon paying all this money for unlimited uh when you can have unlimited sprint for like you know so much less and she talks about stats and numbers and data and you know it's a one percent difference you know and twice twice the cost to have verizon so and then the robots all start laughing and teasing the guy and then he goes into the store and he switches uh, so that's kind of like what happened there. Uh, now let's get to a little bit of performance results from the networks during the Super Bowl. So according to Ookla speed test, which seems to be like, you know, pretty much what everybody uses to speed test for the most part, T-Mobile's download speeds, uh, in terms of averages came in at 120 megabits per second, about 121, uh, Verizon disputes this and says it's unreliable and they have a small amount of, uh, devices that were tested, uh, at and uh, came in with 60 uh, megabits per second on the download and Verizon came in with uh, 55 megabits per second on the download sprint came in last with 34 
So, you know, looking at the upload speeds, you could see T-Mobile did pretty good at almost, you know, 29 megabits per second. Verizon with almost a little bit over 19, AT&T with 9, and Sprint with a lowly 1.6. So, you know, this is what I see from Ookla. I mean, it's pretty consistent. Now, Verizon did their own personal, like, third-party testing through a company, a firm called P3, and they actually saw Verizon at 61 megabits per second, AT&T at 57, T-Mobile at 40, and uh, they didn't even have Sprint, you know, in any type of notable uh, numbers, so I'm not really sure why, but they tested uh, four iPhone 8s at different times of the day, uh, all, each with a different SIM from a different carrier, so they were testing each network, and those were the numbers they saw, and I guess there was another company, uh, Tutela is the name of it, and uh, they confirmed these results, they had identical testing. So I don't really know who to believe per se, but the Ookla testing, that's pretty consistent. T-Mobile continuously comes out on top. Uh, we see the same thing from Open Signal too. And then, um, you know, Root Metrics, JD Power, they always seem to be like with Verizon when it comes to the awards. So, you know, take it as you may. You know, you guys can speculate who's telling the truth and who's manipulating data. But I just wanted to present those things to you guys. So let me know what you guys think of the results from the speed testing from the networks. And... Um, let me know what you think of any of those commercials, if you liked them, or if you thought they were, you know, I don't know, kind of boring, or if you're looking for something more exciting. You know, any of the data things that I presented, uh, let me know what you guys think of them in the comment section below. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This is Steen from Steen Mobile Tech, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.